Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to hit today, from space weather to earthquakes, storms, and science news tailor-made for the open-minded science enthusiast. We'll begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and find a great deal of calm, but near the center, a bright region pops up and begins crackling. If you have the disaster prediction app you saw yesterday that a sunspot group was born directly facing Earth, the group developed numerous umbra and beta magnetic class fields within an hour, but that appears to have been the zenith thus far. I do see a touch of decay in that active region this morning compared to its initial surge into existence. One aesthetic item of note is the plasma filament line dancing over the southwestern limb. Makes me feel very, very small. The large coronal hole is turning out of view to the far side with that plasma filament. The solar wind is indeed enduring at its elevated state. It's just that the elevated state is only modestly elevated from normal. Geomagnetic stability has settled in. From the top of the world there to beneath our feet, top seismic event of the last day hit the middle of the North Atlantic. That's following the bigger one north of Iceland a few days ago. Folks, in the last two days, the reactions in your emails and comments has been like a tsunami of wow regarding the 1972 solar storm that exploded mines unintentionally in Vietnam and triggered major radio problems. That paper is indeed from October 25th. It was indeed shared in this show the last week of October, and you have a totally free choice in your life to stay up to date on literally everything that matters to these topics, or you can skip watching the news some days and be weeks late to almost every single important story. Moving on, we are hearing of significant casualties in Sumatra stemming from an incredible deluge that has brought the hillside down on top of homes in a densely crowded area. Of those same rains that made the landslide moved on next to Malaysia, this is Kuala Lumpur, rained out, flooded, cars abandoned. Luckily, not so much loss of life in that one. Let's kick off the science stories, looking at what happens when you lock a bunch of galaxies in a room. In this case, the room is the bound orbital family of the Milky Way, Sagittarius dwarf galaxies, and the Hydrus-1 subsatellite. Good article here on the interaction, the battle between Magellanic systems and the bridge of material forming between them. We'll take a moment to jab dark matter given the presentation postings from the last two nights here on YouTube. In this paper, they're analyzing substructures of the Milky Way, which are supposed to be dark matter, but they're finding that they're about twice as dense as expected. This is problematic because with that level of material, we should be able to see and analyze it much better, and yet all we see is the normal matter. Today's top science story comes in the realm of star clusters. That's a smaller scale agglomeration of what happens to galaxies. Turns out, NASA scientists are debunking the concept that gravity brings these objects together into cluster and are instead seeking to explain the structures using electromagnetic forces and plasma turbulence. Folks, both Princeton and NASA are both firmly on the plasma universe ground now, and yes, that is their version of the electric universe just with the catastrophism left out for now. Folks, in addition to two cosmology videos posted for you here on YouTube the last two nights, had a very solid Deeper Look episode yesterday on coronal jets, what they are, and how they relate to the space weather we care about. It's episode 87 on the year. Don't forget, everyone who registers for the conference by the 19th is entered to win all four nights free at the venue hotel, cosmology, grand solar minimum, magnetic reversal, earthquakes, electric science, I'll see you in the desert. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 3.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.